Hey guys, looks like it's gonna be a pretty interesting next couple of days. Got that little wind storm coming up the east coast there, uh, Sandy. Looking like she's gonna be a monster too, coming in up around Jersey, somewhere up in there. Uh, hopefully, a lot of those people have taken the advice of the YouTubers and stocked up on some food. They got fresh water on hand. They got matches for candles, blankets, uh, gas for the, uh, the propane stoves, and they can get through this thing uh, without too much problem. Hopefully, they have done so. If not, they are getting warned left and right by the mass media up there. You need to get some food. You need to stock up. Uh, so if nothing else, at least for maybe uh, two or three days, we're going to turn them all into a bunch of preppers. We'll see how it goes. But when this thing comes through, uh, there's going to be a lot of cold air coming behind it. Things are going to drastically change around here. We'll be down into the 30s, so it's time to uh, start heating this greenhouse here. I've been working on my stoves. Got them sanded back down, fresh coat of paint on them, put new gaskets on the door so I get nice uh, airtight seals. Got plenty of wood behind the curtain and the other one up there is situated the same way. Uh, my plastic is pulled down, all the wire put back in place. Tried to get it as airtight as I could. Uh, I'm ready. I forecast to say in something like 50, 60 mile an hour winds tomorrow. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the only thing is sometimes if you get it consistent, just non-stop, that eventually can wear on the structure. But I built this greenhouse specifically to handle that kind of wind, uh, so I don't anticipate any problems. And my little small greenhouse over there, I took my buddy Dale's advice last night and I went ahead and put the straps on the top of it just in case. You never know what one of these storms can spin up on the, uh, the outside, a little tornado, a little small one something like that just enough to uh, disrupt everything so I think I'm ready but that's not what I came out here to talk about today what I wanted to talk about was uh, sharing information from my standpoint specifically gardening information I have talked about prepperbroadcasting.com before uh, multiple times in the past been on Bear Prepper show hers is on the first and uh, third Tuesday of the month there's going to be a new one on the first and third Friday, 9 o'clock Eastern, and the show is going to be called Preparing to Provide. And if that sounds familiar, that is the name of uh, my YouTube channel up at the top of it, Preparing to Provide. And the host of that show is going to be yours truly. How in the world I got myself in this situation, I have no idea. But I've said before that I wanted to do whatever I could to help people to give them good information and to share what I was doing. And not everybody wants to watch YouTube videos. Uh, some people are just busy. Uh, they can click play on an audio player and listen to a, an hour show in the background while they're in the office, uh, in the kitchen cooking or something like that. And they can still get that information that they need. Now, when it comes to gardening, for a lot of you guys, there's not a whole lot of new stuff I can say. You know, a lot of it is gonna be reinforcing. You can hear something four or five times and you just don't catch it the first four and maybe that fifth time the light bulb comes on and you say, oh, now I know what they were talking about. That makes sense. Uh, just things to kind of jog your memory a little bit. No different than uh, Thursday night, I had tuned into the uh, Homestead Honey Show, Homestead Honey Hour. And Michigan Snow Pony, uh, Renee, was talking about using cattle panels, the, the long 16 foot panels, using those to, uh, to stake her tomatoes with. And I had seen that mentioned several times in the last uh, you know, few months when people in their gardens, it's something I wanted to do for next year. And as soon as I heard it, I said, you know, I haven't looked those things up lately. Let me go see how much they cost. And uh, I had just cleaned off my 16 foot trailer, got all that manure off of it, pressure washed it, got it cleaned up so I could go uh, pick up something if I needed it. And here she's talking about cattle panels. Well, I go searching, looking for the prices and stuff, and one thing led to another. And by the time I was finished up, it was after 10 o'clock and the show was over. But I was able to tune in just enough to get that little uh, bit of my memory jog to put me into the mode that I need to make plans for next year. Just, I need to make sure that if I'm gonna grow these tomatoes outside, uh, the trellis thing I had, those tomatoes were way too heavy to be ha hanging on that wire. Put them on a fitz panel i think those big beef tomatoes that were about like that they'd hold up a whole lot better now, i have said this before i am not a gardening expert by no stretch of the imagination 
Most of what I talk about is what I have done, learned with these two hands, uh, getting them dirty, uh, killing plants. I try not to kill them, but sometimes things go wrong, and then you try not to make the same mistake twice. That's how you learn, screw something up, and you know not to do it that way anymore. And then what Thomas Edison did, what he tried to make a light bulb a thousand times and found a thousand ways that it didn't work. He didn't fail, you know, they just found ways that didn't work right. Sooner or later, he hit on something and we got lights. No different than gardening, trying to understand uh, fertilizers, uh, organic pesticides, uh, hydroponic stuff, a lot of different methods, a lot of things to learn. And sometimes you just need to be able to see that stuff multiple times, hear it over and over, and then it clicks in your head and you fully understand it. That's what we're going to try to do. It may turn out to be more like a, a call-in talk show. I don't know that I can come up with enough information every night for me to sit there and talk for an hour or have a host that comes in and uh, shares the same kind of information. So if it's just a, a regular talk show and people call in and get the questions answered, uh, whatever it takes, we're going to try to help the folks out. Uh, if you are a very experienced gardener and you have a wealth of knowledge, please tune in because I'm sure there will be some questions asked that I don't have an answer for and what I want to do is be able to do like a Regis and just ask the audience, use up one of them lifelines real quick and uh, uh, if you are a master gardener, send me your phone number. I'll keep you on deck for a phone a friend. We're going to try to get everybody's questions answered as best we can. So again, it's about sharing the information, try to help folks out. I get PMs from people all the time asking, you know, how do they do this, this, where can they buy this from? and this format right here would be a way that I could get that same information out to a whole lot more people. So, so the show will be the first and third Friday of each month, 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Uh, the first show is going to be November 2nd, which is this coming Friday. Uh, I haven't gotten all my material together yet. I will get it done and I will do my best to make it a very informative show. So hope to see y'all there. Y'all take care. And Lord willing, I'll see you next time.